recent years, we've entered a new macroeconomic regime, one characterized by deglobalization, rising geopolitical tensions, structurally higher inflation and interest rates. Amid this backdrop, we're seeing an increase in market and economic volatility. Our process incorporates a macro overlay with a view to positioning the portfolio according to the macro environment. Amid rising markets, we pivot the portfolio towards growth factors, and in down markets, we pivot towards quality factors. This contributes to greater market upside or participation in market upside, paired with downside protection, and overall results in a portfolio with improved risk-adjusted returns. Earnings drive equity market performance. The tech sector was the first to see an earnings recession in 2022, and the exceptional performance recovery that we saw in 2023 was driven by an exceptional recovery in earnings. Whilst earnings are now slowing from a very high base, we expect to see these continue to be supported, not least due to massive investments in AI, expected to exceed $1 trillion in coming years. This year, however, earnings are broadening beyond simply tech. Perhaps surprisingly, the utilities sector has actually been the best performing year to date. Financials is another area that's exciting for us. And within that, alternative asset managers have been performing strongly as they broaden their asset base, both geographically, but also by wealth segment. We're also seeing earnings broaden internationally. Europe is actually our largest regional overweight and where we're seeing a significant increase in stock opportunities. One sector within which there are a number of attractive companies is defense. Amid a worsening geopolitical environment, there are many companies in Europe standing to benefit from structurally higher spending in this space. Amid a broader backdrop of supportive monetary and fiscal policy, paired with the earnings strength we've just been outlining, we consider now to be a very exciting time to be investing in global equities.